if you're gonna use your SPF, you have to enjoy using it. It has to feel good, it has to smell good. You have to be excited about the brand because it's something you need to reapply throughout the day. This one smells really good. So make sure you have an SPF that you enjoy, that you're using all the time, every two hours if you're outside. Hi everyone, my name is Maisha, and today we're gonna build a basic skincare routine. Whether you're someone who's starting completely fresh, has never used skincare, or you feel like you need a little zhuzh, this is gonna be super easy to follow uh, and very effective. So first off, clean skin is happy skin. It's gonna perform better, it's gonna look better. So you wanna get a cleanser that you really love using something that works really nicely for you. I recommend a cleansing balm. It can be a regular cleanser, but I love a cleansing balm. This is from Sephora Collection because cleansing balms take off makeup. They take off like excess dirt and oil and things and sweat. And also a lot of SPFs need an oil or a balm cleanser to be broken down. So I highly recommend this because it's like a one-stop shop. Your skin feels really great after um, and everything else will perform much better. So next thing, I think almost one of the most important things, can't argue which one is more important, cleansing your skin or wearing SPF. Anything you use, any mask, any serum, is just not gonna work to its full potential if you don't use an SPF. This one is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Hydrovisor um, SPF. Really great, refillable component. It has a really nice texture. If you're gonna use your SPF, you have to enjoy using it. It has to feel good, it has to smell good. You have to be excited about the brand because it's something you need to reapply throughout the day. This one smells really good. So make sure you have an SPF that you enjoy, that you're using all the time, every two hours if you're outside. So after you've found a sunscreen that you just absolutely love, you're reapplying all the time, you're you're good. You might find that you need a little bit more moisture maybe during the day. Definitely, you know, you need a moisturizer at night uh, to rehydrate your skin as you're drinking water and your body is functioning properly. You need to add that moisture on the outside. So this one is from Skinifix. This one's really great if you have eczema or drier skin, which I really, really love because I do have eczema. And it has this really nice component. I'm gonna be nice and moisturized. You want something that feels really good, that hydrates you really nicely. When you wear your makeup, if you do wear makeup, it's going to make your makeup look better and wear longer. And that's definitely something I feel like people start with when they do a skincare routine. So these are the basics, clean skin, protected skin, moisturized skin. Once these become a habit and you feel really good about it, your skin's gonna start to look better and smoother and just like, you're gonna have a really good time getting into your skincare. Then you're gonna move on to some other things, your serum and your eye cream. Now, the reason I say move on to these is because you don't wanna overwhelm yourself with too many steps when you're starting out. I've kind of seen people get really excited about skincare routines, myself included, and then you fall back on the basics. So now that we've got our basics down, we're going to address certain concerns that you may have about your skin. So we have a serum here, and your serum should really go for that issue that maybe you wanna improve about your skin, whether it's acne, lines and wrinkles, pigmentation, and just dullness overall. These are all things that you can address with a serum. This is vitamin C, this is from pharmacy, and vitamin C is great at kind of addressing that dull skin, skin that needs to be brightened, pigmentation that you may want to lighten up as well. This one is a nice lightweight serum. It's the 10% waterless vitamin C. You can see it's a very lightweight texture. Whether you have oilier skin, drier skin, you're gonna enjoy the texture. Vitamin C is something you wear during the day. I would start gradually with it to get used to it, and you can top it with your moisturizer. We'll talk about order in a second, but that would be something that you can incorporate when you really start to see a change in your skin. And then eye cream. I feel like none of us really get enough sleep. Some of us have puffiness. Maybe we wanna address any like lines and wrinkles, things like that. So incorporating an eye cream into your routine will really, I think sometimes changes your entire face. Your eyes will look brighter, smoother, especially if you're wearing concealer. And this one is from Glow Recipe. This is the Guava Vitamin C Brightening Gel Cream. I find this is an incredibly nice texture. I, again, I have eczema and sometimes my under eyes get very, very very dry, I can wear this and still wear makeup on top of it and it works beautifully. So now we're gonna go over when to use these, how much to use, super easy. We're not gonna go crazy. So cleansing balm, I tend to really love my cleansing balm and maybe I use a bit much, but you don't need very much. I would say about that much. Is that about half a teaspoon or so, or maybe a teaspoon? Not very much. Sometimes you might wanna go back in with just a teensy bit more if you have a waterproof eyeliner or mascara or eyelash glue or something like that, just on the eye area, but you don't really need that much. This will cover your entire face and your neck if you put SPF and makeup and things down your neck. 
So and next you wanna put your serum on. Typically the way that you apply skincare is the thing that soaks into your skin the deepest, typically that's serum. And then there's SPF that goes on top and then moisturizer. So for serum, what I usually do that kind of helps me you know, measure is I put like little tiny dots, three dots on my fingers. I do like that and then I kind of press it in. That's usually enough for me when I don't wanna overuse a serum. And I find that this one has a really nice texture where a little goes a long way. So SPF, there's all different kinds, but easiest way to think about it is just to put two fingers length on. Usually people kind of demonstrate this with a squeeze bottle, but it's true for most sunscreens. So go ahead and blend it lightly into your hand, put it all over your face, ears, neck, back of the neck, shoulders if you need to, and then apply your um, body SPF. Okay, so next up is moisturizer, and this one's cheating a little bit because it's self-dosing. So for moisturizer, I usually use about a pea-sized amount, but I have oilier skin, uh, so you might find that you use a little bit less, a little bit more, it's up to you. So if your skin's a little bit drier, feel free to use more. Apply it in the shower, that's a good tip. All that hydration is really gonna help your moisturizer really soak in nicely. So eye cream, I would say about like a grain of rice per eye. I would say like half a pump is good. That's a good enough for both eyes. And you can put it on top and bottom. And you wanna use your ring finger, get it on there and pat it on. You don't have to put it all the way up to the lash line. It'll circulate and go into place where it needs to go. So this is a great sort of system to follow, routine to follow. If you're new to skincare, maybe you need to kind of add some things to it to really like round it out. Uh, you can shop the shelf below for everything that we talked about today. And I will see you next time. Bye.